Good evening and a happy Sabbath to you all. Do you know that the words that you speak contains both life and death? Yes, the words that you so eagerly and easily speak to friends and family and loved ones contain life and death. It can either lead them to life or to death. It may have reached your eyes, but yesterday, a friend of mine shared a clip with me of a young person who suffers from dwarfism that was being bullied at school. Um, I have a lot of feelings, or it led me to a lot of uh, feelings concerning what was happening. And gladly, as I always do, I put my pen to paper and I write what I'm feeling or what I'm thinking concerning the situations. And today I would like to share with you a few things because, you know, we, are, we have gradually gone into a world whereby um, each and every person of all, the majority of individuals feel that it is their God-given right to share their opinion concerning people with them without thinking about the implications of the things that they are saying. Most of us don't think, and um, actually, let me apologize to my Dutch listeners. Um, I would have loved to do this in Dutch, but because I want this to reach uh, the ears of many individuals, that is why I have decided to do it in English. And I'm just going to do it straight from the heart, flow it as I, 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 I flow it. Because you see, it is about time that we realize just as Proverbs uh, chapter 18 verse 21 tells us that the tongue has power of, over life and death. You see, what we say or what we share with individuals can either lead them to life or can either lead them to death. You see, many a times I come from the pulpit and I hear from most people that, wow, your sermon was nice, I loved it. And it praises my heart. But there are other times that I come from the pulpit that after doing my best and knowing that I have actually done all that I could do, I also hear from people who tell me that, hey, because you did not preach about the prophecies, because you did not tell us that there is the end time, because that you did not say something that we were willing to hear, or you did not talk about something that we want you to say, there's a certain kind of expectation that we have placed upon yourself and because you did not fulfill that expectation they decide to say certain things to you and sometimes it can crushes your heart but praise God that it has I have grown to a level whereby when I hear those things I take it on board and I grow from it it did not come easy because I remember days when I was young when I used to go to school and I used to also get bullied. Yes, preacher man used to also get bullied. I used to hear a lot of people say a lot of things to me. I remember one time one of my teachers told me that I am so dark that if I put my black ear earphones on, nobody will see that I have earphones on. Now for a teacher who is leading a class, a person of authority to say this to a young person, it goes straight to the heart and it does pain. But you see, that also gave a lot of the people in the class also the opportunity to say what they want. But praise be to God who has gifted us with strength uh, to be able to withstand and also to be able to come back from things that have been said. I'm not so proud about the way I dealt about things because there were times that the fish had to come out and let people know that, well, if my mouth can say it, my fist can also say it. I don't recommend that to you, but I like you to know that the words that you say can either lead to life or death. And it might not necessarily be the life or death of the individual that you are speaking to. It might be yours, depending on who you're dealing with. But let's move on, because it's a happy time, it's Sabbath, and we are going to try and look at the positive sides of things. You know, Proverbs, again, in Proverbs 15 verse 4, it says that the soothing tongue is a tree of life, but the perverse tongue crushes spirit. You see, the, the tongue that speaks truth, the tongue that tries to allow people to grow, that uh, uh, helps people to, to grow from where they are. You see, we are living in a world where the capacity, the mental capacity of individuals are not on the same level. There are individuals who one plus one is two for them. There are other ones that you've got to explain it visually. There are other people that you have to, you have to repeat it several times because, before they believe it. There are other ones you've got to take it process by process because, before they can engrave what you're trying to tell them. And 
You know, God made us all and brought us all here so that we can share things with each other. We can be the backbone of each other. We can help each other to grow. But you see, we are growing in a society whereby we are being told you have to be first. You have to be the best. You have to be the one on top. And so we all go through that process whereby we want to bring others down so that we can go up. Uh, but the Bible says in Proverbs 15 verse 4 that uh, the soothing tongue, the tongue that speaks wisdom into people's life, the tongue that speaks life into people's life, the tongue that allows people to grow, even though people are struggling, the tongue that tells them, listen, I know that you are stealing. I know that you are, uh, are, are having fornication with somebody. I know that what you're doing is wrong. But listen, my brother, I'm here to support you. I'm here to help you grow. I'm here to be your backbone to help you to leave. That tongue actually is like a tree of life. It brings comfort to the soul. It lifts people up. It takes them to the highs that they've never been to. The highs that God wants us to be. The one that he wants us to be with each other. Remember Christ said, I need you to love God. And not only that, but I need you to love your neighbor as yourself. So if you love yourself and you believe you are worthy to live, you believe that you are worthy to be a presence, a life, you, be, you, you, you believe that you are, you, you are worthy of something, then you should acquire, you should, you should place that same, that same value on another person, on another soul, because the same way you believe that you are worth something, believe that your brother and your sister, your friend, your loved one, your family members, also are of value to someone. They are also worth something. But it says the perverse tongue, the tongue that comes in and lies, the tongue that comes in and tries to crush the spirit, the tongue that comes in and tries to kill, to take away, to steal, that tongue, my brothers and sisters, that tongue crushes spirit. That tongue does not lead to life. You see, Jesus said he came in John 10, 10 that he came so that we may have more life and life in abundance. It is a duty unto us as light of this world, as little light of this world, that we echo this life that Christ is giving to us. We echo that life unto other people. I don't know what you are going through. Maybe based on what you are going through, you don't have the time to, to usher this life onto somebody else. And so the only thing that you have seen and witnessed or the only thing that you believe you can share with somebody is something that will bring them down. Well, I would like to tell you today that that is not true. There is life in you and God wants you to extend that life onto somebody else. There is love. You are capable of loving a loved one. You are capable of forgiving somebody. You are capable of lifting somebody. You are capable of placing somebody on a pinnacle so that they can believe that they are worthy of something. Yes, you are a special individual and the words from your mouth can build somebody up, can suit somebody's life, can, can, can give them more life, can lift them up, can place them on a place where they can evolve and be one with Christ. I pray, I pray that this Sabbath day you make it a point and a duty of yours to love somebody, to share greatness with somebody, and to quit from being too negative in this life. There's nothing wrong with telling somebody or helping somebody to improve, but the way you go about it would either help the person to improve or it would lead the person uh, to a place where they will feel worthless in their life. Uh, imagine you ask somebody to do a program in church. You ask somebody to sing. You ask somebody to drive you somewhere. And the more compliments or the more you, you allow the person to see that they have a potential despite of the, 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 the wrong that they do, the, the moment you allow somebody to see that there is a positive potential, there is something there within their life that they can, uh, they can tap into, it helps the person to grow. We are not born to be perfect. We are born to grow in this life. That is something we need to keep, stri keep strictly in our mind, in our heart, and, and really not lose track of. That we are not born to be perfect, but we are born to grow. 
That is what it is. You know, Jesus said that be perfect as your Father in heaven. It doesn't mean that we have to be of perfection. Hey, eh? no, what he's actually saying is try and be like your Father in heaven. Let your yes be your yes and let your no be your no. Go on that a journey whereby you are able to share something with somebody that brings them and leads them to life. Look at how Christ went on with each and every person. When it, it, does, it didn't matter whether they were rich, whether they were poor, whether they were sick, whether they were downcast. It didn't matter who they were in the society. But he ensured that they will leave his sight changed. Changed for the good. They are life to be lifted. I'm not saying that the world is going to change by what I'm saying, but I hope that it touches your heart. And if you make a change, I make a change. Our change impacts somebody's life. We have already started sharing the gospel with somebody because the gospel is all about a life being changed based on the wisdom that God has given us, based on the love that Christ has shown us. And so, brothers and sisters, on this Sabbath day, I would like to let, remind you that there is power in your tongue. There is power in the words that you say. And that power can either lead somebody to life or to death. What choice do you make today? Do you make sure that somebody is led to life? Or are you going to make sure that somebody is led downwards and cast away from society? I pray that you choose otherwise to help somebody to be lifted up. God bless you and may God elevate you and allow you to see wisdom in the words that I'm saying. And make sure you share with somebody who you love, who you hate, whoever that you see. Make sure that you share with them on this very day that, hey, you are worth something. Hey, you have a value in you. Hey, you've got a potential in you that if you tap into, will elevate your life into some place. God bless you. And this is the first point. Hopefully, I will have the chance again to share with you more of more thoughts concerning the matter at hand. There is power in your tongue, and I pray that this gives you power to go on, power to move on, despite the, the hardship you are, that you are following, despite, despite the, the, the things that you are going through that are bringing you down, despite the fact that you are, despite your addictions. Despite anything, I hope that this gives you the power to understand that God says to us that even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he will be there with us. Even though we walk through the waters, the waters shall not take us away because he will be there with us. Even though we walk through the fire, the fire shall not burn us because he will be there with us. What he's saying to us is, I am there with you through this life. I know your name. I know the plans I have for you. And I want to be a part of your life. And so if it is your will to be a part or to invite God to be part of your life today, join me as we say this prayer. Loving Father, thank you for this life. Thank you for each and everybody listening at this point in time. Bless each and every soul. Lift them up. Let them see your grace and your mercy. Father, let our words of wisdom and our words that brings life, let it be ushered onto the hearts of many. Lord, elevate other people who hear us and let them grow from and let them see that there is a potential in them despite the hardship that they are following. And Lord God Almighty, please lift us up to the place where we can talk and, and be one with you. May your name forever be, 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 be praised and, and may you forever elevate us to the place where we need to be. Bless and give us life more abundantly. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. A happy Sabbath to you all and God bless you all. And we shall see each other very soon. Hot